Hello and welcome to my human design channel. Um, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but uh, the days of us being able to bumble around in our lives, trying to find out what we're here to do and get involved with is kind of over. Uh, human design came into the world 35 years ago as a way of human beings being able to survive what's coming. Well, it's here now. So the most important thing is going to be strategy and authority. It is time for us to really begin to look at how we're going to survive as the world changes. The world cycle is coming to an end and a new cycle, a very unpredictable cycle, is coming at a, at a place near you very soon. In fact, it's already here. You can see it. It's obvious things are breaking down. So I wanted to create a survival guide, um, some indicators that are really important. Um, my name is Richard Beaumont. I've been in human design for 25 years. The last two decades has been training professional analysts. I want to now bring what I know to the general public to try and help you. So I'm going to start with projectors because I, I see projectors suffering terribly through this life uh, the exhaustion i see in them the desperation that comes in their face when they're overstretched energetically the bitterness i see when they're not being recognized and it's so obvious that they're here to be seen so let's go to the aura <clears throat> what is a projector a projector is someone who has a focused and penetrating and absorbing aura that goes out of the projector into the other. The truth is the projector can see clearer than any other type into the other being. And that outward focus, that penetrating aura is going into them to see what's happening, to see if they're aligned to their energy. Uh, to pick up the disturbance and the frustration, especially of generators, when they're not doing what is correct for them. So in terms of a survival guide for projectors, there are three major things I want to point out. The first thing to be aware of is who is in your life, because who is in your life will determine what your life is. And let's make it very clear. You are here to have a life. You are here to remind the energy types, especially the generators, that there is a life to be had. Because the generator, if they're doing work that's satisfying for them, they will be in their work. But they need to be reminded that there's a life as well. They need to have the, the openness that the, uh, the projector can bring because projectors love to have a life. So who is in your life? And are they seeing you? Do they see you? Do they listen to you? Are you being recognized? Are you seeing that your guidance to them is being taken up and it's improving the life? You are here after all to have a successful life and help others to success through that penetrating aura, being able to see what's going on. So understand that if you're around people if you're not being recognized there is this ongoing feedback loop that you know you're not being effective in your life and you've got to see that you should be being listened to but you can do something about it and the thing you can do about it is wait for the right timing we talk about projectors waiting for the invitation. There has to be an opening from the other to you that's saying, please tell me something, or I'm here for you, I'm here to listen. Now, you're not going to get that if the generators are in the middle of their work. They, they just will get on with it and, you know, they'll, they'll flit you off like, don't bother me now. You know, I'm in, my energy is moving, I'm in it. So there's no point trying to guide any generator when they're actually in the middle of doing something. You have to wait until they've come to a pause. You have to wait until they've, they've turned their energy around. Instead of doing something, they're now back in a more settled state. They're not actively engaged in something. Now, that's the point when you can get in. So 
let's say there's something that needs to be done and you can see it and it's very clear and yet you've mentioned it and the generators haven't taken any notice um you all you all know what that's like it's very it's very annoying isn't it so what projectors usually do is they go in and do it because they can see it needs to be done they go in and do it and they keep on keeping on going on doing and doing and doing and becoming a super slave well that's not going to work projectors need to look after their energy energy is a premium for you so you've got to be clever you've got to be smart about it you've got to realize that you know for the opening to come you've got to be there at the right time and they've got to be open for you um if you're not being recognized at all then it's time to get to people where you are being recognized a lot of projectors really limit themselves going well there's nothing i can do you know this is my life it's going to continue like this well no it isn't there are plenty of people out there we know that you can see i mean i know you can see those people that are appreciative of you of your presence of your of your ability to really um, make a difference in people's lives can be seen by some of those people out there you need to be around them all kinds of things can come from that and sometimes a shift happens because of that the other thing to bear in mind out of the three things is what's happening with you when you are with the others now you're going to be drawn to the life force you're going to be drawn to the warmth of it the power of it the energy of it sometimes the joy of it you know it's going to be very attractive it's like whoa i want some of that and what happens zeroing in on the other you forget yourself it is not easy for a projector to um see what's going on with them so there they are pouring energy into this damn generator that isn't listening and and i'll tell you generators don't want to be told what to do you can't tell them you know you can't you've got to wait until it's open till they're taking it in want to taking it in so you know what can you do you can remember to check in every now and again while you're engaged with the generator are you losing energy is it going nowhere are you pushing against resistance to try to get through to them back off back off come back another time look after your energy look after your energy look after yourself you make sure that you have a life you know you can be correct according to you whether the others are correct or not what to do you can do your best but don't push against resistance there's no point you'll just exhaust yourself in learning to look after yourself we come to the third thing and the third thing is very important it is really to make sure that you get enough rest that you get enough sleep that you go to bed before you're tired and have a wind down period so you go into your bed and you're in a semi-horizontal position reading a book or doing a little bit of extra something or other on the ipad until the eyelids get heavy you put it to one side and then you can sink into sleep if you miss that opening that right time to go to bed you're probably going to get the second wind and you'll stay up too late and you don't know when enough is enough and you start the day the next day at a disadvantage because you're already exhausted and exhaustion piles upon exhaustion piles upon exhaustion and life becomes a matter of just somehow trying to get through it <clears throat> So I don't want you to just survive. I want you to thrive. And thrive means, look, you can be as awake as you can be. You can watch the other and wait for that right time. You can check in to see if you're, if you're putting too much energy, if you've forgotten about yourself. And you can go to sleep at the right time and, and let all that conditioning out. Now, there are going to be times when you don't want to do that when the energy is you know really fiery and it's and it's fantastic for you you're going to want to hang around it you must 
look after yourself. You must see that it's up to you to establish your natural energetic boundaries because you don't have boundaries in that area. You're going to use too much energy. You're going to take in the energy of the other and do too much. You have to understand that you've got it. You can't keep doing that. You've got to begin to, to, to look after your energy, look after your energy, make sure that who is around you, you've got access to people around you who are going to be open to you bringing a good life to them. So look after yourself. Survival guide is important. It's important because we need to be more aware of what's going on right now. There is no longer an option. Okay, I hope some of that has gone through. Um, if you've enjoyed this, please subscribe and like and share. Um, check in to the links below where there, are, there is an, um, a wonderful video by Ra on projectors and other things that I've talked about. Okay, take care of yourselves. Have a good life. Thank you. Bye for now.